Hello, this is Bern. And if you want to feel more desired and more strongly pursued by men, today I'm going to share with you four qualities that men crave without even knowing it. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the man and the relationship you want without the need for gimmicks or tricks or manipulation of any kind, and as a result of being the most feminine and most radiant version of you. Now, today, I'll share with you that I get complaint from a lot of women who share with me that they either get no attention from men or attention from only the types of men that they're not interested in. If that's been you, what I'm gonna share with you right now is four specific habits that you need to develop that will enhance radically your ability to attract the types of men that you're interested in. And saying to you that the vast majority of these men, if you were to sit down with them, they wouldn't share these are the four things I need to feel viscerally punched in the stomach to the point where I don't know what hit me and I'm gonna pursue you with passion. They wouldn't say these things, but having worked with women for so long and understanding what men need in order to move forward, here's what you can focus on that can shoot you above head and shoulders of the competition, if you call it that. The first one is radiance. Men are looking for radiance. Men are looking for that magnetism. And what does radiance mean? Radiance is nothing more than the vibration of your heart expressed into the world with your unique footprint and uniqueness. Your capacity to express that which you feel unrestricted, within reason, right? <laughs> unrestricted, uh, allows men to view you like a magnet. So your capacity to feel and express translates to your capacity to express that radiance into the world. So what are things that can help you bump up your radiance? Doing shit you enjoy. Connecting with things that make you feel. Stopping your head for a second and allowing what moves you to be expressed through your heart, through your facial expressions, through your body, through your thoughts. Dance, move, song, uh, inspirational stuff, poetry, anything that makes you move and raise your vibration, exercise does that as well, will allow you to be a stronger magnet for men. So that's the first thing to focus on. If you were to focus on four things that can help you reverse the curse, this is the first one. Second one is clarity in needs and values. What does that mean? You need to know what you want out of a relationship and what you value in life. Otherwise, you're going to be sucked into somebody else's needs and values for you to the point where you will wake up one day and say, shit, this is not the life that I want. But if you didn't express it, if you didn't clarify it for yourself, then that's what happens. So here's why it's also important because when you know what you need and what you value, that's gonna stop you from wasting time with men that you feel are hot and awesome, but cannot take you to the destination that you want, right? There's gonna be guys that you connect with that feel super exciting to you, but they have different needs, they don't value your, I mean, they, they don't appreciate the needs that you have or respect them, and they value different things in life, which means this would be a hot one night thing that would end in nothing, <laughs> in time waste for you. So you need to understand what you need and what you value, and you need to have the capacity to express that to someone and ask of that human being to share needs and values through time so that you know if you need to invest your time with that person or if you need to move on and regardless of how awesome you think he is know that he's not the guy for you that also decreases stress right because you connect with guys that you think are awesome but if they want something different from what you want then they're not your guy third courage in expressing your boundaries where do you draw a red line where do you say this is as far as i go where do you say no where do you walk away if you don't have courage in boundaries and for that you need to know what you need and value then guys will not value you it's very rare that a guy is going to say to you i love the fact that you express your boundaries so clearly initially they may get pissed initially they may not like it initially they may say wow but i want this but let's have sex whatever it is that they're wanting to get that you're not interested in moving forward at that point from but the fact that you're willing to have the courage to say, here's my red line in the sand, is going to place you above and beyond other women who don't have boundaries and are going to make you more valuable. So you're not doing this just to 
pretend you're not doing this for games you're doing this because this is what you value and when you do that your value in raises and increases and he as a consequence as a consequence of you being more valuable feels more valuable himself fourth straight talk no games here's what i mean there's a lot of women who have learned through life to play the game of i'm happy and i don't express it or i'm angry and i say i'm fine or whatever it is that the game that might be playing uh, psychologically with someone don't do that it's going to ruin your chances. It's going to put you in the category of high maintenance, uh, avoid, run away from type of person. So what happens when you like a guy and you're excited that he's connecting with you and you share it with him? He recognizes and acknowledges it and he feels good about it. What happens when he does something to piss you off and instead of saying, I'm fine, pouty face, you say, I don't appreciate that. Here's why. Here's what happens. The guy knows how he can act and move to be able to win. To win meaning to create a strong connection with you, to earn your love and respect, to, <laughs> to move this forward into exclusivity. Whatever it is that, the, that stage the guy is moving through, if you have a straight talk mentality instead of the mysterious game playing BS that so many people have learned to do, then you stand a chance of being put into the category of serious, non-game playing and non-high maintenance. So these are four things right now. If you were to focus on this thing, start with the first one, radiance, clarity, needs and values, courage in expressing boundaries, and straight talk, you stand a chance to rise above and beyond many of the women right now who are in the same position that you're in right now, but don't understand how to grow in these four skills. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful to you. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. If you want to take this further and understand how you can enter the kind of relationship you want on the first link on the description of this video, you'll find a way for you to click on that link, enter in an email and be taken to a place where I give you a free class right away <laughs> on how to enter that relationship. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up. And last but not least, if you find that this is the year you have committed to finding love and that you've been watching videos and you've been reading books and you've been doing the law of attraction and nothing is changing things, you need more than just videos. So I encourage you to apply to work with me. The second link to the description of this video will allow you to apply, enter a few questions, and if we're a fit to work together, I'll share with you what it takes to, for me to hold your hand through the process of attracting your ideal life partner. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.